All right, the guy on the left-hand side is from the Aurora shooting in Colorado, which that name is connected to Saturn. Wow, go figure. The guy on the right-hand side is his stage name is Gene Rosen from Newtown, Connecticut. I don't know. I don't know if that's his real name or not, but you know, I'm just going to call it a stage name because he's an actor. It's a picture of the same guy in different different uh, shootings. You know, if you look on the guy on the left hand side, he's a little bit bald on top. Uh, he's a little bit thicker. He's got a tan. And the guy on the right hand side, a little bit thinner. He's no tan. He's like Casper the Friendly Ghost. But look at his glasses. He's, look at his glasses. He's wearing the same fucking glasses. Okay? Notice he's wearing the color purple too. You know, that goes, you know, back to that God for Second Planet. But anyways, it's the same person. They're an actor. All the world is a stage. Okay? It's it's all it's all a show. And it's not real. Your your presidential elections are fake. The the town hall meetings that presidents are supposed to go to are fake. The presidential debates are fake. The questions that are asked to the president and the different the other running candidate, they're all staged. They know the questions that are going to be asked so they can give a, a good enough answer. You put somebody up there like me or like a cult science 101 or some other other people out there like truth or see up there to ask some questions to these people. Man, we would bust their heads wide open. And there's some other people out there that I know for a fact can do the same thing. This is just, you know, people that I could think of off the top of my head. It's all stage, people. Wake up. It's all it's it's all a show. All the world is a stage. The American people, the sheeple's attention span is that of a two year old. It's quite obvious. And it's by no accident that these shootings always happen like almost six months apart. It's usually around the Either the, the the spring, summer, fall, or winter solstice. It always happens around that time. You, you know, American people are so fucking lost. And, you know, and now they're coming for your guns. It's all a stage. It, they're coming for your guns. They want you to be unarmed. You know? But nobody knows anything about the Dick Act of 1902 because civics are taken out of school. You know, all the president has to do is write an executive order to take away your fucking guns because you're in martial law. Right now, you are in martial law. Why do you think you fly that flag for? There's two flags. The military flag, which is the one that they fly, and the civil flag, which you know nothing about. So here you have it. Here's the military flag right here. And here's the United States civil flag for the people, the republic. Okay. Now, why have you never seen this flag on the right hand side? Why is that? Why didn't they show you this in school? Because it's there's a big difference between education and indoctrination. And you're not educated, you're indoctrinated. Look up those words and see what they mean. I'll leave a link to these websites so the, the people who really want to dig in and do some more research can find it. In this little short clip I'm about to show, this is General Orders 100, the, the Libra Code. And this is going to explain to you how we are still in martial law. So pay attention. This document is known as the Libra Code or General Orders 100, done April 24th, 1863. It is the rules of engagement signed by the Secretary of War for the Civil War. We are still operating underneath these rules, underneath military rule. Here are a few of the articles that affect us today. Martial law in a hostile country consists in a suspension by the occupying military authority of the criminal and civil law and of the domestic administration and government in the occupied place or territory, and in the substitution of military rule and force for the same, as well as in the dictation of general laws as far as military necessity requires the suspension, substitution, or dictation. So what this Article 3 is saying is we're going to suspend all of your laws while, we are in, while you're underneath military rule. Article 7. Martial law extends to property 
and to persons, whether they are subjects of the enemy or aliens to that government or not. Uh, basically, they're saying right there, it doesn't matter if you were against us in the war in the South or whatever the deal was, the martial law is going to extend to your property and to the person, whether they were enemies or not. And that's pretty simple. That's how this affects the North also. Article 26. Commanding generals may cause the magistrates and civil officers of the hostile country to take an oath of temporary allegiance or an oath of fidelity to their own victorious government or rulers and they may, may expel everyone who declines to do so. Article 31. A victorious army appropriates or seizes all public money, seizes all public movable property until further direction by its government, and sequesters for its own benefit or that of its government all revenues of real property belonging to the hostile government or nation. Title to such real property remains in abeyance or suspended during military occupation and until the conquest is made complete. And the last one we're going to talk about is Article 32. The commander of the army must leave it to the ultimate treaty of peace to settle the permanency of this change. There has never been a treaty of peace ending the Civil War, and we're still under these rules. You own no property. Article 31 still applies to you today. Article 26 that we're going to talk about shows where they forced several governors and legislators out of office three years after the war was over because they didn't want to go underneath the military rule. They wanted to stay underneath the constitutional rule where the states were the sovereign. This document is from the nps.gov website, National Park Service. And the question here is, where was the treaty signed? And they're talking about the Treaty of Peace to ending the Civil War. And their answer is, there was no treaty signed to end the Civil War. This video right here, I'll leave a link to. It's the Dick Act of 1902. Gonna control my ass. And this guy goes through step by step on how it cannot be it cannot be uh, taken away but but since the United States is a corporation like I said since it is a corporation here is the the code and statute for it 28 USC 3002 the definitions and you're going to scroll down you're going to look at definition 15 the United States means a federal corporation so that's why the United States is in all capital letters all you have to do is look into the act of 1871 that's all you need is to look into the act of 1871 and it'll tell you but you have to know legalese you have to understand law you can't be any average Joe coming into this and reading it because there's a big they don't use Webster's dictionary okay they don't use the wording that you're taught in school just like you're taught in school that you're a person well guess what you're not a person you're a living breathing flesh and blood man or woman you're not a person a person in Black's Law Dictionary is a corporation that's why when the cops pull you over they ask you do you have anything on your person okay and I'll show that here and later I'm running out of time I gotta get going on this the Constitution if, if you want to read this the rape of we the people in the Constitution for the United States the original Constitution the organic the only thing they did was change the word for to the word of okay and the United States is in all capital letters for the corporation version of the act of 1871 if you look at this you notice the United States the only thing capital is the first the first uh, letter of each word now I'm gonna you know drop some knowledge on you whip out your whip out your driver's license look at your electric bill look at your uh, uh, car payment look at your mortgage payment look at your uh, water bill Look at your credit card bills. Look at the name on your ch on your checkbook. It's all capital letters. Okay? We've been fucking had. We have been had for a while. And all you people following Alex Jones and all these so-called truthers telling you, oh, martial law is going to be installed. In this video, I just proved to you that we have been living in martial law. Okay? Since the days of Abraham Lincoln. And he was not a good man, by the way. He was a tyrant. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. He didn't free the slaves. He helped enslave us all. White, black, brown, purple, yellow, whatever color. Color does not matter. 
Okay, we need to come together as as a people and take our country back because this is bullshit. All right, here's uh, the definition of a person in Black's Law Dictionary: in general usage, a human being, i.e., natural person. Through by statute term may include labor organizations, partnerships, associations, corporations. There it is, corporations. Okay, here's the law stating that the code and statute. You know, I don't lie. I got no reason to lie. I don't fucking take donations. I don't get fucking money from people. I don't do none of that shit. Okay, I'm a man of my fucking word. My word has meaning. I have integrity. I'm not a fucking sellout. All right, so here's a picture of a, a checkbook that I got offline, and it's not real, so whatever, deal with it. But the names, if you notice, is in all capital letters, okay? It's in all capital letters. Okay, the only thing wrong with this picture is somebody who made this, he put American citizen, okay? You cannot... It should be sovereign national, okay? You cannot be a sovereign citizen. It's bullshit. It's something that the news media or whoever told the news media to use that term because it's an oxymoron term. You can't be a sovereign and a citizen at the same time. Look it up in Black's Law Dictionary and you will understand that, okay? If you look at the Social Security card, all capital letters, license, license all capital letters, All right, here's somebody's picture of their birth certificate that I got offline. Once again, the name is all capital letters. I don't know if people are going to be, be able to see this when I upload it. All capital letters, okay? All capital letters. You notice, too, anything, anybody out there that's traded in stocks or whatever, if you notice, this birth certificate is printed on bond paper. Here's at the bottom of the birth certificate. If you notice, it says American Banknote Company. Uh, we've been had. Here's somebody's electric bill and gas bill. If you notice at the top, the name David G. Pope. I pulled it offline. The name is in all capital letters. Once again, all capital letters. And here's a picture of the, the your federal tax return. You notice the name, all capital letters. So I'm just going to stop right here on this shit and ask you, is that how you spell your name is in all capital letters? Is that what they taught you in school is how to spell your name is in all capital letters? But you go every day in your life not even remotely even looking at that stuff. I noticed this shit when I was... When I started driving, when I got a driver's license, I noticed my name was in all capital letters. And I asked my mom, I asked a couple other people, why is my name in all capital letters? I even told the people at the DMV they fucked up. And they were like, no, it's, that's the correct way. This is how we do it. And I couldn't get a straight answer from nobody. And for my family members that I asked, they didn't know. And it's not their fault. It's nobody's fault. We are, we are all living in ignorance. Okay? It's not that we're dumb. Well, some of you motherfuckers are dumb. And some of you motherfuckers are fucking troll. And you troll the internet coming in between truth. And yet you're working for the dark side. You don't think the dark side ain't going to flip on you when your time comes to get a fucking bullet to the head? You're just a pawn on the fucking chessboard. But you don't give a fuck because you don't fucking think neither. And you're easily manipulated. I, I fucking hate you fucking trolls, man. If I could get a full-time job executing you assholes, I would do it without no remorse. Because you're 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 putting treason on your own country and your and your fellow countrymen, you have no excuse. Okay, so all you COINTEL pro agents out there, doing what you're fucking doing, when you watch this video, ask yourself these questions: What's really going on? You're doing nothing but aiding the enemy. But even though you're thinking you're doing a good job, and you're thinking that you're a patriot and you are, you know, doing what you're told to be done. You're being lied to. And if this video doesn't prove that to you, you're fucking hopeless. There's no hope for you. Period. Shoot yourself. Do us all a favor.